So today we are going to see how we can connect or point domain name to hosting. When and why you need to do this? So situation one, if you bought your domain name and hosting from different companies, then you need to point your domain name to your hosting. Situation two, if you want to change your current hosting because of bad support, slow website or renewal rate is so high. Uh, the renewal rate is very interesting one because when you buy hosting at the first time, they give a lot of discount. But when you renew the hosting, they give you regular price. So it's a very nice thing to do when you sign up for a host, sign up for longer term for three years. So choose best host and sign up for longer term. If you want to book a reliable hosting, check description of the video for best hosting and discounts. So before we move forward, please like and subscribe the channel. You will learn all the tips and tricks to create awesome website and turn that into successful one. Okay, let's go into the video. Okay, so first you need to log in into your account from where you bought your domain name. For this video, I'm going to show you two examples from where I booked my domain name. One is Namecheap and second is GoDaddy. But if you book your domain name from any other company, the steps and procedure are same. So just look for the options and things what I'm doing here and I'm sure you'll find the same things. So in Namecheap, we'll scroll down and then this is the domain I want to point to the new hosting. So I'll click on manage. Go down and you'll find the option name server. You need to find this, this option name servers. In every domain booking company, you have this option. So right now it is name cheap basic DNS, but I'm going to change it and I'll put custom DNS. Now here name server one, one and name server two. I need to put the name server of the hosting companies. Okay. No matter which domain booking company you book your domain, every company has this option where you can enter the name servers of the hosting. Uh, if you are in GoDaddy, just go to your GoDaddy account, go to your domain list and which domain you want to point to the hosting. Just next to that, there's the option, it's called DNS. Click on DNS. Scroll down. And here you will find the same thing, name servers. So no matter from where you book your domain name, there's always option where you can change the name servers. So I click change. Enter my own name servers and same thing here. Name server one and name server two. Remember name cheap. We have same option name server one, name server two. So now we need to add the name servers provided by your hosting provider. So now we know we need to find name server one and name server two. Let's go to a hosting account and find the name server 1 and name server 2. So for this video, I'm going to use Bluehost and SiteGround. They are two popular companies where you can book your hosting. Their customer support is very nice. Speed of sites is very nice. If you want to find a good discount on these two hosting, check the description of the video. So once you log in into your Bluehost account, click on domains and then there's the option assign. So now what we are doing, we are assigning this domain what we what we booked from Namecheap, GoDaddy or any other company. So we are copy this domain name. We'll go back to assign. Don't choose this option because this option is applicable if you book your domain name from Bluehost. So we are choosing this option because it's not booked with Bluehost. Paste this and Bluehost will verify domain. Okay, so now here we get our name server 1 and name server 2. We just need to copy name server 1, paste in name server 1 in your domain account, copy name server 2 from Bluehost and paste in name server 2. And once it's done, click save. Go back to your hosting account, scroll down, just leave it park domain and assign this domain. That's it, it's done. This is how you can connect your domain name to your hosting. In this case it was Bluehost hosting and let's see how we can do this in SiteGround hosting. So log in into your SiteGround account, go to home, set up a site. 
because we already have a domain so click on existing domain copy your domain name from here and paste continue continue for now I'll do skip and create empty site if you want you can start a new site you can install WordPress or any other application available on the site ground or you can migrate also for this video we are going to just create empty site in coming videos I'll be covering how you can migrate site to new hosting also so skip and create empty site you don't need to add this SG site scanner if you want you can add it finish okay once it's done here we get our name server 1 and name server 2 just copy this option if you want to connect site ground with your domain name go here and instead of Bluehost just enter the site ground name servers save so this is how you can connect your domain name with your hosting in every hosting you need to find the name servers you will always have option to add a domain name or add a website just find this option follow that and in the end you will get name servers okay thank you so much for watching this video please like the video subscribe the channel share this video with your friends if they want to connect their domain name with the hosting i will be posting a lot of useful content which will help you to create your website and run website after and how to improve the website speed how to make website secure a lot of good content is coming have a nice day